Praise the Lord, everybody, and uh, thank you for tuning in again to the God Seller 7 channel. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day out there today. I know I have a, a great big giant pot of spaghetti sauce on the stove cooking. I wish they had a um, smell video. It smells really great. Uh, my husband will be surprised when he gets home from work. He's going to have a nice dinner today. And um, I have three parables I'm going to try to tape today. And uh, if you're uh, just re t tuning in for the first time, I have uh, 18 parables all together from the Lord. And uh, these are not in the Bible. These are uh, messages that I dictated uh, hearing the, His Word. And uh, a parable is a teaching message. So normally at the end of it, uh, you would be learning something. So uh, I have three of them. These are my last three. And uh, so I'm going to get started with the scripture. And I'm going to be in the book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 11 to 14. Then I saw a great white throne, and him who sat on it, from whose face the earth and heaven fled away. And there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God, and the books were open. And another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged according to their works by the things which were written in the books. So that's the scripture, the parable I titled uh, The Father's Judgment. This is my 16th parable. I received it on February 27th of this year. There was a woman with two sons. Knowing the harvest was coming, she advised them that they would be required to go to the nearby city to obtain needed supplies. The sons were to meet early the next morning to prepare for the journey. The first son spent the entire day getting ready. He arranged for his three donkeys and food supplies. He also considered he would be carrying the family's silver for the purchase. So care would need to be taken to keep it secure. The first son decided to get several pieces of his garment together and sew small pockets within so the money would be safe and secure. So he did this. When morning came, the first son was ready and prepared for the journey. And the second son could not be found. As time passed, the second son arrived with his donkey smelling of wine. The woman, the mom, then divided the silver between them and gave them each a list of supplies to purchase. Shortly thereafter, they departed. The trip was difficult, but they arrived at the city inn without a problem. The first son said, I'll travel along the main road for supplies and you travel along the side. We will meet later this evening at the inn. So they went along as discussed. The second son, after traveling along, noticed his money bag was missing. Not sure if it was lost or taken, he took the route back to the inn where he had started, but was unable to find the money. He had purchased no supplies and decided just to wait at the inn until his brother arrived back. Very late that evening, the first son arrived with his three donkeys, full of supplies, as this son was a wise merchant. He was surprised to see his brother with nothing. His brother told him what happened, so they started their journey back home. Upon arrival, their mother brought the two sons before their father to provide him with the details of their trip. The father was very displeased. Because the first son had made great preparations and was careful to secure the provided silver, this son had purchased all the necessary supplies for the harvest and had money remaining. The second son was banished from the household. So what is the meaning of this parable? The father's judgment is final. He gives his children ample time to be ready and to secure that which is needed for the journey. He gives a great reward to those who use and care for that which he gives them. 
The children that obey and do his will remain with him for eternity. Those that are careless and unprepared are cast off and not considered a part of his family. So that's a strong parable. Uh, the Lord is trying to get maybe someone out there uh, that's listening their light bulb to come on. If you're not saved, uh, we are in the latter days. Um, I've seen many confirmations on other YouTube channels, people getting the same sort of messages that I hear from the Lord, and the Lord's putting on them to read the same sort of uh, literature that I've read, and I, I don't believe that there is any such thing as a coincidence. He's coming back. He's giving uh, these warning uh, prophecies, if you've tuned in before to my channel, God's Healer 7, he's giving warning uh, messages. He wants you to be saved. Uh, my husband and myself, we are not uh, pastors or writers or speakers or, or anything like that. We're just regular people like you. Uh, the Lord called on us to give these messages to you. Uh, we're, like I said, just regular people. We're not speakers. Uh, and we really feel peculiar uh, presenting these messages, but we obey the Lord, whatever He puts on us. He wants you to be saved. He wants you to be baptized in the name of Jesus. Uh, he wants you to ask forgiveness of your sins. He wants you to turn away from your sin. Uh, call on him. Uh, he's waiting on you. That's why he's giving all of these uh, messages to hurry up, get saved. Uh, he's coming back, and he wants you to be with him. So please, whatever you need to do to be saved, uh, please do it. And I'm asking you out there. Uh, to uh, pray for your brothers and sisters that are not saved in the Lord. And uh, thank you again so much for tuning in to the God's Hill or 7 channel. I really appreciate all your comments and all the friends I have and all the video responses. And they're very instructional and educational. And, and again, thank you so much and praise the Lord. Have a great day today.